Sometimes your watch band clasp will wear out before your watch band does. If you don't want to replace your whole watch band, you can always replace the clasp itself. Use this guide from Esslinger.com to learn how to change simple single-fold watch band clasps with buttons. How do you know if your watch band clasp is a single-fold clasp with buttons? When the clasp is open, it should have two metal plates with one joint and a solid cover section. When it's closed, the two plates will fold over each other and under the watch band, so the cover with its spring-loaded metal buttons is the only part of the clasp that is visible. To replace this type of clasp, you will need a spring bar tool, a digital gauge, a parts tray, extra spring bars, a replacement single-fold clasp with buttons. The first thing to do will be to remove the old clasp. Start by opening the watch band clasp to reveal where it attaches to the watch band. Begin with the end of the clasp furthest from the cover side. Set the band on its side so you can access the hole on the top of the band where the spring bar is visible. Take your spring bar tool and insert the pointed end tip into the hole where you can see the spring bar. Push down on the spring bar to compress it and carefully slide the watch band out from under the end of the clasp. Remove the spring bar from the band and place it in your parts tray. Next, reposition the watch band on your work surface so that the cover end of the watch band clasp is in front of you. And you can again access the spring bar hole at the edge of the band. Take your spring bar tool and insert the pointed end into the hole in the watch band clasp. Push down on the spring bar to compress it and then angle your spring bar tool to slide the watch band and compress spring bar out from under the clasp. Set it in your parts tray. Next, take one end of your watch band and measure the width of the loose end with your digital gauge. Order the right size and color replacement watch band class from Esslinger.com once you have this measurement in hand. When you have the new class, you will want to start by attaching the cover end of the class to the watch band first. Take your spring bar and insert it back into the end that you removed it from earlier. Holding the watch band and spring bar together, slip them inside the watch class so that the outside of the watch band faces the same direction as the outside of the solid class cover. Align the end of the spring bar with the hole in the bottom of the clasp. Take your spring bar tool and use the forked end to press the spring bar down into the watch band so you can slide it completely into the watch clasp. Carefully remove your spring bar tool and wiggle the watch band around under the clasp until the spring bar slips into place. You may have to do this more than once to get it into place. You can now attach the other end of the clasp to the band. Take the other spring bar and insert it into the free end of the watch band. Holding the watch band and the spring bar together, slip them inside the other end, like this. Align the end of the spring bar with the hole in the bottom of the clasp. Take your spring bar tool and use the forked end to press the spring bar down into the watch band so you can slide it completely into the clasp. Carefully remove your spring bar tool and wiggle the watch band around under the clasp until the spring bar slips into place in the hole in the clasp. Once both spring bars have been reinserted, your new clasp is securely attached to your watch band and you can wear it again with pride. To learn more about watch repair, check out esslinger.com's Learning Center today.